Racing Point Sergio Perez is seen by many as one of the most consistent and underrated drivers in F1 today. He has stood on the podium on multiple occasions but is yet to win a race. He was once considered F1's brightest up-and-comer and many had stated that he would become a race winner someday. Perez has now reflected on what went wrong. I'm your host Dylan Shelley and first up on Formula World, how one decision cost Sergio Perez a very different career. Perez started off by recalling his days as a Ferrari Academy driver. It was all natural. I was a part of the Ferrari Academy and there was a lot of contact with the team. It was a natural step that a driver part of the Academy would be linked to them. It was all looking like I was going to be there, but then things changed. He also revealed that he was one of the drivers Mercedes were considering in 2013 before finalising on Lewis Hamilton. We were talking to Mercedes, but that really depended if Lewis didn't go there. I was the second option. It's what they said. We had a couple of options looking back then. He then elaborated on how 2013 was his best chance to become a Ferrari driver, had it not been for an offer from McLaren which he couldn't turn down. 2013 was the closest I came to going to Ferrari. That was very close. In hindsight, if I didn't go to McLaren, I certainly would have gone to Ferrari, but things changed very quickly in F1. McLaren at the time were dominating. They offered me a contract. It made a lot of sense at the time. He then pointed out how this move to McLaren did not pay off as he had envisioned. Unfortunately, it didn't pay off. The car was quite bad and I was not able to score any podiums or fight for anything apart from points. Things changed a lot since then. I'm pleased with my career. I'm in a good stage. I feel proud of what I've achieved with the material I've been given. This is a sport which is related to car performance and it depends which team you're at at which point. He further elaborated on this to sign off. I feel privileged to be here. If you look back, a lot may say I've been unlucky with the cars and things that I didn't have, but on the other hand, I'm very lucky to have been able to make a career out of this difficult sport. Fast feed. Former F1 driver Ralph Schumacher feels that defending world champion Lewis Hamilton should use Instagram and other social networks to give his opinion on political matters. He further questioned why he always has to do it in a Mercedes overall on the track, as that can have a polarising effect. He also firmly believes that sport and politics should not be combined. If they do, then it's certainly not up to the driver to say anything about that. Racing Point team principal Otmar Safnauer pointed out that his future driver Sebastian Vettel is now 33 years old and suggested that Formula 1 drivers are not beyond their peak at this age. He further feels that they are even in top form or still improving. Former F1 driver turned commentator Martin Brundle has referred to Istanbul as another anti-clockwise and hugely enjoyable track. Renault's Daniel Ricciardo added to that by stating that turn 8 is going to be great, but so is the first turn, downhill blind to the left. His teammate Esteban Ocon supported his notion by saying that Turn 8 already looked impressive in the older Formula 1 cars, and thinks that this will only get better in the current cars. F2 driver Yuki Tsunoda has revealed that the G-forces in an F1 car in the rain, they are just as high as on a dry track in Formula 2. Zandvoort's organisers have released a statement announcing they are happy with the new date of the 3rd to the 5th of September 2021, and are looking forward to the festive return of Formula 1. Dutch Grand Prix Sporting Director Jan Lammers added to that by saying that this new date just after the summer has the advantage that the peak of the summer holidays is over, the weather is likely to be good and the corona measures are then more limited. F1 has released a statement reiterating that they expect fans to return for the 2021 season and for the calendar to look similar to the originally planned 2020 season. F1 CEO Chase Carey added that many hosts actually want to use F1 as a platform to show the world they are moving forward. And Ferrari team principal Mattia Bonotto divulged they won't wait for the final race in Bahrain or for Abu Dhabi to reveal which of their junior drivers will step up to F1 as they'll decide within the next couple of weeks. Would you have liked to see Sergio Perez join Ferrari back in 2013? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.